YouTube, it's Weird Paul. I get a lot of packages all the time from subscribers, and sometimes I just have to do a catch-up video to show the ones that only have one or a few things in them. So let's take a look at what I got. Mike Nobody sent me this awesome ELO belt buckle. I haven't worn a belt in over 10 years, but I might have to start again just so I can rock this. Nicholas Kane sent me these two KISS VHS tapes. KISS Extreme Close-Up is full of rare clips of the band performing all over the world. And KISS My A Asterisk Asterisk is full of rare, never-before-seen footage. I even got the original receipt from 1994, bought it as Sam Goody. My friend John Korn hooked me up with this vintage Slim Jim's ashtray. Make your next drink taste better. And this sweet pack of Nightmare on Elm Street playing cards with images of Freddy Krueger throughout the whole series of films. It's a boy! I saw the artist known as Hell Garbage live when he performed in Pittsburgh recently, and he gave me a copy of the cassette Scald Your Face, along with this handmade zine. If you like listening to noise, you'll enjoy Hell Garbage, because Hell Garbage is what it sounds like. My friend Marco gave me this. What can you do with it? Well, you could take a photograph or a slide and put it into the transfer box and turn on the light. And then you put your video camera up to this lens and film your old photos. I could use this to make YouTube videos showing old photos and slides. And best of all, it was originally purchased at a Hills department store for $68.86. My friends Jen and Greg gave me this camera. It's a JVC GR SXM 240 Super VHS C camera. Let's plug it in and see how it looks. This camera is actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll use it if I can figure out how to get rid of this thing and this up here. <laughs> I got a few more cool items from subscriber Luke Swampock. These tiny guys look like some kind of vintage GI Joe figures. They're from 1985. Here's another item from the same era, a still sealed pack of Dr. Preppy Silly Soda Bubblegum from Leaf Foods. Excellent! Here's a great little woolly mammoth and an old plastic car. I love these vintage car erasers. Comes with a red plastic pit crew jack. These colorful mini paperclips featuring Garfield are amazing and they came in a little plastic case. And even though it broke on the way, I can still appreciate this classic Twinkie the Kid ring. Kid. Subscriber Alien Keys sent me this new issue of Marvel True Believers. Venom's kicking butt as usual. I got some Alien Keys stickers and some music by his band Invisible Ghost Men. The best way I could find to describe it is like minimalist lo-fi Rob Zombie. Check it out. And also check out episodes of his movie review series Awfully Bad Movie Club here on YouTube. One person that always gives me lots of cool stuff is my mom. And here's some of the raddest things that she's surprised me with. A video 8 tape she found of someone showing off their Beanie Baby Bear collection. Three keychains that actually function as an Etch-A-Sketch, a Connect a 4 game, and a Viewmaster. A 1984 Gizmo Gremlins figure. A partially used 1982 E.T. Presto Magic set. And an unused sheet of vintage E.T. stickers. E.T. has the high score. Mom also gave me a couple of department store catalogs from the 80s, doll campers, and from the 90s, service merchandising. But this is my favorite thing that she gave me, and she found it at a thrift store. A hard-to-find Farmore Power Buyer tote bag. I was a Farmore Power Buyer in the 90s. Now I'm a thrift store power buyer. <laughs> My friend Scott Fry gave me this 10-inch Pavement EP, Perfect Sound Forever. It was the band's third release, recorded in the late 80s and put out in 1991 by the label Drag City. Scott also gave me this Coke lanyard that he got when he was in Daytona for spring break back in 1994. That is wild. Subscriber NES Addict helped me complete one of my collections. He sent the only card I was missing, card number 15, for my set of Terminator 2 trading cards. It's very fulfilling to complete a collection. I'm a cop, you idiot! I'm Detective John Kimball. 
And finally, here's something that was given to me by Lou down at the Brillo box. Well, it comes in a coffin. Is it a vampire or a corpse? No, it's a BC Rich Revenge, a beautiful cream color with black trim. Let's give it a little test run. <laughs> If you're ever in Pittsburgh, be sure to stop in the Brillo box where you can order a drink named after me. Damn! Thanks to everyone out there who gave me or sent me this awesome stuff. I love it. And I put links down in the description so that you can check out all the music, videos, and YouTube channels by all these fine folks. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.